following gameplay commentary is rated X for extreme. Viewer discretion is advised. X W O. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello and welcome. My name is Samson. I am the smooth talking pimp that loves the front bum back again, bringing you another silky smooth gameplay commentary straight from my lips directly to your ear pussies deep and hard, cause that's how we do. Anyways guys, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? It's been a little while, took about a nice little week off of uh, YouTube there from my uh, two channels that I'm running currently. Uh, a little bit of a rough patch in my life as, uh, you know, just shit happens, man. Fucking way she goes. Sometimes life just uh, throws you curves ball, curve balls and, uh, you know, you just got to uh, adjust and uh, recalibrate and then hit the ground and start running again. So uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm not going to go into any detail of what I've been going through or anything like that, but... Uh, you know, we all have rough patches, and, uh, you know, I am currently going through one as I compensate this. But, uh, beyond that, I'm back again. Gonna start, uh, the grind at making videos again. So look forward to videos from me, uh, hopefully daily, but, you know, fucking way she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't. But, uh, yeah, guys, welcome to another episode of AFK, or, you know, in case you don't know, it's away from controller. Controller, of course, spelled with a K, because it's more badass and more extreme, and this is, of course, that extreme Call of Duty channel. Uh, but anyways, guys, hope your week was good. Uh, when I came back, I kind of took a look around the YouTube landscape and, uh, was bombarded by, you know, a bunch of future predictions about what the next Call of Duty is gonna be, uh, coming from Infinity Ward, and that just makes me laugh. Like, are we really at that point already? <laughs> we're, we're, we haven't even got our first DLC drop for Black Ops 3, and of course PlayStation 4 is gonna get it first. Don't get me started on that. I was actually hoping they were just gonna stop this exclusive fucking DLC to, to the consoles, but, eh, whatever. Well, well, we'll talk about that in another video, but, uh, what I want to talk about is this whole thing. Like, uh, we're all worried about what Infinity Ward is going to do. Or are they going to do Modern Warfare 4? Are they going to do Ghost 2? Are they going to do something all new? Or are they going to, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And at this point, i got to say, I really don't give a fuck, to be perfectly honest. Like, I am enjoying Black Ops 3 very much so. This is a good game. Uh, best Call of Duty we've had in a while. So, you know, I am enjoying this game. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on some DLC. Although it's going to be a little while because I'm on Xbox One. But, you know, I'm not too concerned. I'm enjoying the maps that we got. Uh, I'm enjoying improving my game, getting better at a Call of, uh, as a Call of Duty player. Because, uh, you know, I, I just haven't been, you know, that in touch with Call of Duty as I uh, used to be. Like, this used to be the go-to game. I used to have my boys. I used to have my team. Uh, but that's all gone. Like, life has kind of moved on. I don't have my boys. I don't have my team anymore. Uh, it's just me. Like, every time I roll in Call of Duty, it's just me. And look at that. Look at that. My no-skill specialist kill failed me. It failed me. I guess uh, maybe it does take a little bit of skill. Maybe just a smidgen for a couple of the weapons. But uh, anyways... But, uh, yeah, so things have changed for me. I'm rolling solo, and, uh, anytime you roll solo in Call of Duty, like, whew, it is fucking hard, man, like a pain in the ass. You're constantly rolling up against parties and full teams, and, uh, you know, a lot of the time, I end up carrying my team, and everybody else just goes negative, and we lose, or we barely scrape by with a win, so it's pretty frustrating. But uh, I'm enjoying this. I'm not really worried about what Infinity Ward is gonna do, because I may be, you know... If, if it all goes to shit, I may be playing Black Ops 3 for the next three years, and I won't touch anything until another Treyarch game comes out. I'm a Treyarch fanboy. I've always liked the Treyarch games, and, uh, you know, it, it, that could be the case. This could be a three-year cut for me, and I'm not talking about a three-year development cycle. I'm talking about a three-year play cycle. I may be playing Black Ops 3 until Treyarch releases Black Ops 4 or whatever the hell they do. Uh, but that's just me, you know. I've never been a big fan of the Infinity Ward games. Uh, always been a Treyarch mark. And, uh, Sledgehammer, ugh, <laughs> like their first outing really didn't do anything for me. So, you know, who knows. But, uh, what I will say is the one thing that'll make it so I don't play Black Ops 3 for three years is if Infinity Ward goes back to basics and they go back to their roots. Uh, I very much would love to see, you know, a modern call of duty again you know not necessarily uh modern warfare 4 I, i'd actually love to see them just start over like just straight up just make call of duty 
Modern Warfare. And uh, not a remake or anything like that. Just, you know, straight up reimagine the entire thing on the next gen and uh, get a fresh start because they're basically a fresh start as a company. They went through a lot of rough patches there. It's not the same Infinity Ward that it was, and uh, I think they kind of need a reboot. So that's what I'm hoping. Uh, nice, true, modern boots on the ground. No more boosting, no more special weapons or special abilities. Uh, I'd love it if they went back and, you know, everybody just had the same, same old kill streaks, but they expanded it. So, you know, you, you are one of those beastly players that starts getting nukes. Well, as you start getting up there in these uh, score streaks or, you know, things like that, the higher score streaks, you know, just have them be insane, but they're all the same for everybody. The way it was in COD 4, you know, but uh, that's, that's probably wishful thinking. Like, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, you know, it's all about money, it's all about variations in weapons so they can charge you for supply drops and... Oh, fuck. Like, Call of Duty has just become this huge fucking money maker. And, uh, unfortunately, you know, it's possible to still have a great game. But, you know, as long as it's making money, there's still gonna be just a bunch of shit that uh, kind of comes with it. But, you know, it, it is it is what it is. What are you gonna do about it? Not much. You're gonna buy the games, because... What else? What else are you going to do? Like, seriously. Yes, there's a bunch of single-player games. I love that single-player games are actually making a comeback and we're getting storylines and stuff and great role-playing games. That is fantastic. But, uh, you know, it can get lonely sometimes and you just gotta... You want to jump online and just fucking shoot somebody in the face and that's what Call of Duty is. It's always going to be around. It's always going to be making money. It's always going to be popular. And uh, it's always going to be involving, or it's always going to be evolving. Man, I gotta slow down and start thinking about when I talk. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's been a while, so hey, maybe a little bit of rust. Like I said, it's been a rough week. Rough fucking week, but that's just the way life goes. But uh, yeah, that's what I want. I want a true boots on the ground, old school, just Call of Duty. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reborn. Not Modern Warfare 4, not Ghost 2, just straight up Modern Warfare. Um, you know, back to the, the the guns that we see today, nowadays, and, you know, maybe a little bit advanced, you know, if they want to go slightly into the future, that's not so bad. But I uh, definitely just want, you know, good old-fashioned COD. And along those lines, like, you know, Treyarch, Right now, they're starting, you know, no doubt, they're they're in the planning stages of their next uh, game, they're starting development, and I actually hope they take a step back, too. And uh, a lot of people are saying, like, World at War, like, people are saying they hope uh, Infinity Ward goes back to the, the World War, and I'm like, no, no, save that for Treyarch, Treyarch, you can go back to the World at War, do World at War 2, that would be badass. Uh, maybe even just, you know, go back and just do Black Ops 1, because Black Ops 1, I gotta say, as much as I love Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 2 is I, Black Ops 1. Now that, that is the best Call of Duty ever. World at War, most underrated Call of Duty ever. Uh, Black Ops 1, best Call of Duty ever, quickly followed by Black Ops 3, and then, uh, you know, Modern Warfare. And, uh, yeah, you know, everybody's got their list. Maybe I'll make a video about my list and how I stack up the uh, Call of Duties. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out the channel a bunch. Uh, if you haven't already, join the XWO Army and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next one, which hopefully won't be a week away this time. Hopefully, you know, I'll get you a video tomorrow. So you can look forward to that. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Slap the like button. Talk to you again very soon. Later, guys.